Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this scarf here. It turned out very pretty. Now this scarf is made with the diagonal weave stitch. It is not hard at all. I would consider it though an advanced beginner pattern. You need to know how to chain, um, single crochet, double crochet and triple crochet there's no post stitch in, in it at all once you get the hang of it it's actually really pretty easy now my scarf measures about five foot long and about almost six inches wide of course you can make yours longer and wider if you want by making your chain longer in the beginning and by adding more rows to it but that's what it looks like it's pretty cool I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this. Okay, for this project I used, now this is from Hobby, H-O-B-B-I-I, -I, based out in Denmark. This is their lollipop. It's 20% wool, 80% acrylic. And it is a medium weight number four. Now you don't have to use this yarn. Any medium weight number four will work. The color that I have in my hands is called, it's color number 28, which is called New York. Um, there are 382 yards per skein or per cake. You're going to need um, more than one. Pro you're probably getting not much more than one, but probably maybe 420, 25 yards. That's just a guess of a medium weight number four. Now, when you look at this yarn, you can see that it's uh, got long stripes in it. This scarf was color controlled. The stripes did not come out perfect like this. When I say color control, I mean um, I used this yarn and when I got to the end of the row, I cut it off and I went to the next color and started again. That way every row would be a different color. That way there were no stops in the middle. Like say there would be, if I didn't cut it off, there'd be like a half a row of um, there'd be like uh, two rows of black, half of it would be black, and then the other half would be brown. So that's what color control means, where you control how and where you want to put the stripes. So if you happen to use this or any other type of striping yarn, you don't have to color control. If you don't mind it, the colors breaking up, that's fine. I like things to be more consistent, that's why I color control my yarn. So yeah, but so this isn't the way it, it, it played out out of the skein. I clipped each color at the end of the row and then I started with the next color so that's how that worked but remember you don't have to do it that way if you don't mind um, the color starting in the middle and stuff so then I used a size J which is a six millimeter crochet hook all right so I'm going to show you on a smaller scale so this uh, the diagonal weave stitch is done in a multiple of six plus three, which means your beginning chain needs to be divisible by six, and then you add three more to your base chain. That is if you want to make your scarf longer than mine. Remember, mine's about five feet. Now, for mine, I chained 231 stitches. So once you get, if you want to follow along, once you get your chain of 231, remember that is the length of your scarf. So if you want it longer, by all means, multiples of six plus three. But 231 for me. Now what I want to go ahead and do is single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. Like that. And now we're going to work along row one, putting one single crochet in every single stitch until we get to the end of the row. So row one is just one single in every stitch for the length of your chain. All right, once you get to the end of row one, you should have a total of 230 stitches. Okay, now we're gonna start row two. Row two, we are going to chain one and turn our work. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. We, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a double crochet right there into that very, very first stitch. 
and now we're going to start the repeat of the row. So what we're going to do is we are going to skip three stitches. Skip, skip, skip. In the next one we are going to do a triple crochet. So that's where we yarn over twice, so you skipped your three, and in the next one we're going to triple crochet. And we want to do a triple crochet in the next two also, so that you have three triple crochets in a row. So there we go. Now we got three triples in a row. Now we skipped these three stitches. Now we're going to go ahead and back. We're going to back up and we're going to work in them. And we're going to put three triple crochets in them, starting with the very first one up here that we skipped. So we're going to yarn over twice and we're going to go across the front of these triple crochets. It gets a little awkward at first, but trust me, it gets really easy once you start doing it. Go into that very first stitch that we skipped and triple crochet into it. So there's one, and then you need to go to the next one that we skipped and triple crochet into it. Sometimes you have to dig around and move all the stitches out of the way to find the ones that you skipped. So go to the next one right here and triple crochet into it. And then the last one, which is right there. And triple crochet in it. I find it easier to kind of fold my work like that. And then do my triple crochet. And that's what it looks like. Kind of a crossed mess. <laughs> but it will work out in the end. So we're going to repeat that again. So we're going to skip the next three stitches. Skip, skip, skip. And then the next three, we're going to put one triple crochet in each of them. So we yarn over twice, we skip, skip, skip. In the next one, we triple crochet. And then we triple crochet into the next. And again in the next. Like that. Now we're going to back it up. And we are going to triple crochet in the three that we skipped, starting with the very first one over here. But remember, we cross the stitches from the front like this. These three stitches, we go from the front. And then we go into that very first stitch that we skipped. I know it looks confusing, but you can do it. Trust me. I know that you can. Once you get this down, you will fly by. Go into the next one. And triple crochet and then there's one more left I got to move my stitches around to find it right there and then I need to triple crochet into that one just like that and we got a mess of tangled up stitches but that's okay they'll lay flat later now we're going to repeat it again so we're going to skip three stitches skip 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 and then we're going to triple crochet into the next three one two and there's three and then we're going to back it up triple crochet in the three that we skipped starting with the very first one over here remember to go around the front of these stitches with your hook like this and go into that first stitch that we skipped and triple crochet and then the next two that we skipped and triple crochet and we're going to repeat this pattern until we get to the end of the row just like that so that's what it kind of looks like not much right now. Once you get more rows on it, it's going to look awesome. So again, we're just going to repeat. We're going to skip three and triple crochet in the next three. And then go back and triple crochet in the three that we skipped, starting with the first one. And we're going to keep doing that until we get to our last stitch of the row. Okay, I'm coming to the end of row 
two and that's what it kind of looks like you can straighten these up a little bit I have one stitch left on the end I want to go ahead and put a double crochet to end row two and you'll have 230 stitches still if you're following along with me you'll always have 230 at the end of every row So that's what it kind of looks like. Now, if you want to change colors here, you can. What I do when I change colors is I just tie off my yarn. This is what I did whenever I used this yarn. Whenever I finished out a color, even though there was still more, say I was using yellow, even if though there was more yellow left, I would chop it off and then I would start over with the brown. That's called color control. You don't have to do that though. I mean, you can make it all one solid color you can just use your cake the way it comes out however you want to do it so i'm going to bring in a new color and for row three i'm going to turn my work and i'm going to start my yarn in this very first stitch now rows three and four are the repeat rows for the whole scarf it's a two row repeat so i'm going to start my yarn in that first stitch by chaining one now i want to do four double crochets in a row our first one goes right here in this very first stitch that we started our yarn in so we go ahead and put a double crochet there that counts as number one we want four in a row so that's one two three and there's four so now we're going to start the repeat for row three we are going to skip the next three stitches. So skip, 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 and we're gonna put a triple crochet into the next three, which are these three back here. One, two, three. So we go ahead and triple crochet. We skip these three in front, and triple crochet in these three that are kind of set in the back there. Now, this is similar to the previous row, but there is one difference. Instead of working, we're gonna go back and we're gonna work in triple crochets in the three that we skipped, starting with the first one. But instead of working across the front of our stitches, we're gonna work across the back. It's a little bit more difficult, not hard, just awkward, I would say. So you go from behind and you grab the first, I always have to look and find it here and put my finger by it and then you go into that first one from the back and then do your triple crochet and it'll get easier the more you do and then you want to do the next one from the back triple crochet and then again the next one here that we skipped just like that so that's what it kind of looks like. Okay, now we are going to skip three stitches again and triple crochet into the next three, these back here. So we're gonna yarn over try twice, like we're gonna do a triple, skip these three in front and triple crochet in the three that's kind of set in the back. It's so one. two and three now we're going to work triple crochets in the three that we skipped starting with the first one but we have to go behind the stitches to do it so we're going to yarn over twice i always try to hold that in that first one in place when i'm working from the behind that way i know which one it is turn your yarn all the way over push these back with your hook so you can see what you're doing and right here is my first stitch go into it I hold it down like that and then go ahead and do your triple that first one's always the hardest to get but after that you'll be able to see the next two really easy triple crochet into the next two you can just keep holding down these stitches that way they're not getting in your way like that okay and that's what we're going to repeat again 
we're going to skip these three stitches here and we're going to triple crochet in these three that are kind of set in the back Like that. Now we're going to back it up and triple crochet in the three that we skipped starting with the first one. Remember we have to do it from the back side. So I'm going to find my first one. I'm going to put my thumb on it and then I'm going to pull all these stitches back and I'm going to go into that first stitch back here. There we go. Once you get that first one down you can hold these stitches down now. Oh I got a yarn over twice for a triple crochet. Sorry about that. Thought I was doing a double and then triple crochet into the next two also just like that and this is the pattern we're going to repeat until we get to our last four stitches and that's what it starts to look like remember you can kind of fiddle with them to make them lay down better but that's what it starts to look like so go ahead and repeat that pattern until you get to the end of the row Okay, once you make it to the end and you have four stitches left here, I got these three and then I have this double crochet here on the end. I'm going to go ahead and put a double crochet into the last four. That way it matches when we put a double crochet into the first four. Now both our ends match. Just like that and that'll end row three and you'll still have your 230 stitches. So that's what it starts to look like. I'm going to change colors again. Put, oh, put my yarn off. Remember, you do not have to change colors. You can keep going with a solid yarn, a striped yarn, however you want to do it. But again, when I color controlled, I would have, if I was using the brown yarn this time, even though it wasn't finished at the end of the row, I still would have clipped it off and moved on, started fresh with the black. That way my rows were consistent. Now I'm going to turn my piece and I'm going to start row four. Now row four is very similar to the first row we did. So go ahead and make sure you turn your work. Go ahead and start into the very first stitch and chain one. Now I'm going to put a double crochet right back into that very first stitch. Like that. Okay. Now I'm going to skip three stitches, skip, 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 and I am going to triple crochet into the next three. So there's one, two, and three. Now, like I said, it's very similar to this row, row two. We're going to go back to the three stitches that we skipped, starting with the first one, and we're going to triple crochet in them, and we're going to go across from the front this time. The last row we went from the back, this time we go across the front. That's really the only difference. That's what makes them crisscrossed. Remember, you got to dig around a little bit to look for your stitches. And then the next one. Just like that. And now I'm going to repeat that. I'm going to skip the next three stitches. So skip, 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 and triple crochet into the next three. And then I'm going to back it up to three I skipped right here. I'm going to triple crochet starting with the first one. Go around the front of these stitches this time, not the back. Since we're on the front of our work, we go across the front of our stitches. When we're on the back of our work, we work across the back. Again, skip three stitches, skip, 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 triple crochet into the next three. Go 
go back and triple crochet in the three that we skipped. Quit working around the front of your stitches this time. And this is the pattern we're going to repeat until we get to the end of the row. And remember, you got to kind of straighten up your, your triple crochets to make them lay flat. They get a little bumpy looking. So I'm going to repeat this pattern until I get to the end of the row. Okay, I'm coming to the end of a row four. I have one stitch left, this double crochet on the end, and go ahead and double crochet to end the round. 200. 30 stitches, stitches still, straighten them out, but that's what it starts to look like. Okay, so that's it. Now it's just a repeat of rows 3 and 4. You just keep repeating rows 3 and 4 until you get your scarf the width that you want it to be. Now, if you're following along with me... I did a total of 10 rows, and that is counting that row of single crochet. So I got the single crochet row was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And mine's just shy of 6 inches. If you want to make more rows, you by all means, you make it as thick as you want. But remember, you will need more yarn than what I said um, at the beginning. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you did. Um... I think it turned out really nice. Now, I generally don't wear uh, crochet stuff other than hats, but you know what? I might wear the scarf. I love the colors, and I like how the stitch looks super complicated, but actually, once you get the hang of it, it's really easy. I love it. It's beautiful. So, hopefully, you have a fall along okay. Um, also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my other tutorials. I have hundreds of tutorials um, that I have on my channel already. And I do more. Um, also, I do lots of yarn talk. If you like yarn like me, I love yarn. Learn about new yarns and stuff. So you don't want to miss out on that. So hit that subscribe button. If you look over there in the right-hand side of the screen, I'm going to put a playlist of all my other scarves. In case you make this and maybe you decide you want to make a different one. You could scroll through there. Maybe you'll find another one that you like and want to make. So that's it. Until next time, have a good day.